huge, huge, huge transfer news, guys. Honestly, Arsenal transfer news doesn't stop. We got bids going in from nothing and forest for our players. We've sent some players out on loan. Raya bid has been submitted by Arsenal as their first opening bid has been submitted to Brentford as we're waiting for a response. And it is most likely potentially going to be turned down. In addition to that, there's some new talks about Thomas Partey potentially leaving Arsenal and Arsenal making a last bid interest in Romeo Lavia to try to hijack Liverpool's deal. And there is some also some information around Balogun. All of this plus more in addition to my starting five for Arsenal versus Man City in the in the community shield. Everything in today's show, of course, I will be back live again, ladies and gentlemen, tonight. I'll be doing vibes from the six. I just had some uh, stuff going on. Of course, you guys already know I have a newborn and had to take him to the hospital yesterday. So everything's okay. But uh, I had to cancel yesterday's show. So my apologies about canceling yesterday's show. I will be back tonight with a new show and we'll get through all of the latest uh, transfer news and everything around all the rest of the Premier League teams later today. Because of course, we got to talk about Gavardia. We got to talk about all the new potential signings and that preview to the Man City Arsenal Community Shield will be tonight. Let's get the show started. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And I know the Community Shield is not a major trophy, but don't you guys want to win it? Here we go. Yes, 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 people. Do me a favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 23K subscribers right now. So do hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. Hit that like button also. So we got a lot of stuff to get through. Where do we begin? I'm just going to go straight into good old Twitter, and I'm going to go through everything as we can go through it uh, in chronicle order, of course, right? So... Um, first things first, right? We have we have some information on Balogun. Of course, there is an event. Uh, there is an event. Uh, there is a possibility that Skamaka uh, does does uh, the Skamaka deal does not materialize for Inter Milan, and Balogun would become their first choice. So in that case, Balogun potentially could be sold to Inter Milan. Arsenal are still leaving the door open on selling uh, on selling. Uh, what do you call it, Balogun, even though there is some injuries. Big up to my guy, Oli, um, the Arsenal informer. He had a he had an exclusive interview with uh, with uh, Jakub Kevor. We're going to break that down on another show, hopefully. But let's get into the nitty and gritty. So there was a big bid. Apparent, uh, there, there's some big news here where there's a bid bit that has been made from, uh, Matt, uh, from the side of Nottingham Forest for Matt Turner. This could mean goodbye to Matt Turner. And of course, we might be stalling as we are still trying to get the Raya deal done. Doesn't make sense to get rid of Matt Turner and then be in a, in a weak negotiation situation with uh, uh, Brentford and uh, and the David Raya. So we're going to probably stall until uh, until uh, for the notice. I want to know what the valuation is. That valuation still hasn't been brought to light at this moment in time. Matt Turner does seem to be headed out of, uh, out to Nottingham Forest, and he most likely will be given. A permanent transfer, that is what the situation is. The conversations are advanced. We're going to have to wait and see. Fabrizio Romano, of course, breaking the news about two hours ago. Now, going further back, there uh, there is also news on Rea. Brentford have uh, ha are expected to turn down the opening offer from Arsenal for David Rea as the proposal... Uh, uh, on the situation is still ongoing. Both parties uh, want the deal to get done for the 27-year-old uh, uh, goalkeeper uh, are now working on the finer details. I do believe this deal will get done. And at this moment in time, we, we just need to wait and see what happens. Yesterday, last night, Fabrizio Romano reported that the opening offer for David Rea has been submitted and it was 23 uh, million. So 20 million plus 3 million in add-ons. I believe this deal will get done. And I believe it will get done closer to uh, some of the some of the ITKs and rumors that, uh, that have been floating about is that it could get done for around 27 million, which is 25 million plus 3 million in add-ons. I think that is completely realistic or 2 million add-ons, whatever it is. I think that's very realistic. And I do believe this is a deal that can happen and will eventually happen. At this moment in time, we're just waiting to see what the finer details are, how long it takes, how 
and, and everything else. I do believe David Rea himself is uh, is a player who who wants to move. As reported, he favors the move to Arsenal over Bayern Munich, and he wants to stay in England. He is a homegrown talent, also, ladies and gentlemen. As he grew up, uh, even though he's Spanish, he grew up in in England playing for Blackburn, and that's where he was uh, an academy student. So he does qualify for homegrown status. And this is another reason why the deal makes so much sense for Arsenal, where Matt Turner doesn't actually qualify for a homegrown status since he did come from America and he he never played in England before he joined Arsenal. So this definitely helps Arsenal with the homegrown quota. We don't have to worry too much about the homegrown quota now that we have so many English players. Plus, we're going to be adding uh, the Spaniard David Rea, who also qualifies as an English player. So I do believe this is a win-win for everyone in, in every single scenario of the way. Every way you think of it, it is a win-win for us. And I absolutely love the the, the fact that we're going to be doing this. So let's uh, let's also think about think about the fact that uh, we've had so many different situations where players have come into challenge for places. I think this is going to light a fire under Ramsdale. And I want to play this video from you guys because it's it, it's from it's from the uh, it's from a podcast. Um, I think you guys you guys, players know. you guys should know it. It's from the 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 fellows podcast from one of the guys from the Sidemen. And he was speaking to Ramza about the potential signing of Trussard. And this is very interesting insight on what Raya might consider thinking about going into this Arsenal deal. Just a little bit ahead of time or what? It depends, it depends how much, really. It depends on how well documented the transfer is. Yeah. Was there one that you knew ahead of time? You were like, Gabby yeah, Jesus, but... basically. I knew 85, 90% that he was coming to us. And is that just a case of it dripping down? That's just the a case of social media doing its thing. And also kind of knowing the type of person the manager wants. Zinchenko, on the other hand. No idea. Out of the blue. That gathered speed in about four days. That was literally like awesome. That kind of that part of the conversation was kind of pointless. But this second part is the part that I, I that I wanted to get to. Drop it on you. You got Trossard. Trossard's coming in to take someone's place. And that's what is making me think, you know what? Raya is trying to come in to take some of these plays and Ramsdale is going to know that and Ramsdale is now going to have to fight for his place. He's going to have to fight to try to keep his spot and he's going to have to do what it takes and whatever it takes to keep that number one spot. Ramsdale is fully aware of Mikel Arteta's ruthlessness and how he approaches everything in regards to how he manages uh, how he manages the team, how he manages the squad and how everyone is always uh, up for uh, every position is up for grabs and if you're in that team you're going to want to believe that you can take it and David Rea would not be joining if he didn't know that there was a possibility for him to take that number one spot but there's also another uh, I- uh, interview that David Rea did that came to surface that was interesting that I wanted to play for you guys also this is from another podcast and David Rea basically speaking about goalkeeper Keen units and how important it is to have a good well-knitted goalkeeper unit have a, a really good group of GKs that can have fun and push each other is 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 something essential for for the goalie as a and for training. I think it makes you want to go to training and, and enjoy it and and learn. And if you don't have a a good relationship with the with the other goalies, I think that'll be a bit more difficult to to gain. I think that's interesting. So from one perspective, we got the Ramsdale video where he's saying he's coming to take, uh, Trussard is coming to take his spot. And there's another video here. I do think, I do think it kind of gives you the insight of the mentality of the players and the fact that it's not going to be disruption. It's going to be something good, good challenge for the two guys. And I do believe we are going to get Raya. It's just how much are we going to get him for? We could end up getting him for less than 30 million. And Tottenham were quoted early in the window that the player would not be leaving for, for less than 40 million. So we are getting the player for 10 million below the original valuation that we that we thought we were going to uh, spend on him. So this is great news. I'm happy. I love the fact that things are starting to, to happen. And this is a deal that is going to happen, ladies and gentlemen. So get get ready for that. Now, let's just go through some of the other news. Um, just to let you guys know, Barcelona have agreed person uh, have agreed a deal with uh, with uh, what do you call it? Personal terms with uh, could draw Cancelo. So hopefully this deal materializes and we don't have to worry about draw Cancelo to Arsenal links any further. Now, in other news, there is rumors that Romeo Lavia could still be in Arsenal's books uh, and, and Arsenal could still be interested in getting Romeo Lavia, could consider making a hijacking, a last minute hijacking. But the reason why that would be 
is because Juventus are still interested in trying to get Thomas Partey. Reports come uh, reports come out about 16 hours ago from uh, from this guy here that Juventus will have to pay around 46 million euros, uh, 46.5 million euros to sign Thomas Partey. Now, the the new contract between Juventus, a uh, new contact between Juventus and Thomas Partey has happened because Frank Kessie has joined a Saudi Arabian club. This is from Demazio. I don't know how reliable it is. I still believe Thomas Partey will be staying at Arsenal. I don't see him leaving anytime soon. That's just me personally, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, big up my guy uh, talking about that. In other news, there's also news about Lukaku. This is kind of weird. So with Jesus' injury, Darren Bent is bringing up the possibility of signing Lukaku on loan. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I don't want nothing to do with Lukaku. Uh, I, I've seen, uh, I, big up Kevin Campbell. He came on the show and he mentioned that Arsenal should go for Lukaku. But I don't think I don't think there's any legs to this. Now let me just show you guys what was said in this Lukaku thing. I've said it for years. If it was an option, I would have taken Lukaku. This is Darren Bent talking about Lukaku. Um, he's got pedigree in the Premier League, and he is a battering ram. Uh, talking about Lukaku, a little bit like when uh, Olivier Giroud was at Arsenal. So comparing. Uh, Comparing Luke, uh, Lukaku to Olivier Giroud, my question to you guys is: Would you guys take, uh, would you guys take Lukaku on a one-year loan from Chelsea? Personally, for me, I don't want nothing to do with him. But the question is: Would you take him on a one-year loan from Chelsea? As Darren Bent thinks it's a good option now that uh, now that uh, Jesus is injured. Personally, for me, I stay away from this. I don't want nothing to do with it. But it is it is an option that people are thinking about within the Arsenal circle. And I just hope that most of your answers are hell no, because I don't want nothing to do with Lukaku. I think it would be a, I think it would be a mistake if we made that, if we, if we did do that. Now I'm going to just show you guys my lineup. Where is it? What is this? Oh uh, yeah. My boy, uh, my boy Arsenal Mo talking about the fact that Raya turned on Spurs, Manchester United and Bayern uh, to join us. That's massive. Um, also some West Ham troubles, some troubles for West Ham. We're going to have to talk about uh, Zinchenko and some of the stuff that Zinchenko was talking about in a second. Uh, so, yeah, Zinchenko was talking about his weaknesses and basically speaking uh, to Rio Ferdinand on, on, on five about how he got nutmegged and the situation where Marueke scored the goal and he lost concentration. He needs to improve his defensive awareness. And, and also in the interview, he was speaking about William Saliba. And when speaking about William Saliba, he basically said he's a Rolls Royce. He's so good. He's so much better. Honestly, I don't... Uh, I didn't know him before I came to Arsenal. When I saw him in training, I was like, who's this guy? This guy never makes mistakes. And, and there's a full video. You guys should check it out. It's fully on Twitter. There's a full video. Also, the Kai Havertz uh, situation uh, is, is still ongoing. This is the team that I would play um, against Man City in the Community Shield. If I had to play a team, this would be the team that I would play. I would have Ramsdale, Ben White, Saliba, Gabriel, Timber, Tomiyasu, uh, sorry, not Tommy Asu. Uh, Thomas Partey, uh, Declan Rice, and Martin Odegaard, and then a front three of Balogun. What the hell's wrong with me today? Let me start that again. Ramsdale, Ben White, Saliba, Gabriel, Timber, Partey, Rice, and, and Odegaard, Bukayo Saka, Trossard, and Gabriel, uh, Gabriel Martinelli. Why am I mentioning Tommy Asu and Balogun? I have no idea. But this is the team I would play versus Manchester City in the Community Shield. I think this would be our strongest team that we can go up against them with. And hopefully, this is the team that we that we face them with and, uh, and, we, and we go and win. I want to win the Community Shield. Even though the Community Shield is not a trophy, I know it's not a trophy. But, uh, but at the end of the day, it's a good way to start the season. And I, and I want to go out and win it. Um, let me know what you guys would rate this transfer window out of 10 if we do go off and pull off the signing of Raya and we now go and get uh, Raya in. So these are our first four signings. Of course, we still are linked to Mohamed Kudos, and that would be amazing if we can get Mohamed Kudos. By the way, Mikel Arteta was also on um, the cover of, uh, of GQ, and, and he was speaking about Arsenal's aura. I think Mikel Arteta just gets it. Uh, in other news, also Austin Trusty is is uh the newly pro newly promoted Sheffield United have signed him on a permanent deal from Arsenal uh significant uh, the, this uh uh not the the fee has not been disclosed at this moment in time but we're going to have to wait and see and yeah Mikel Arteta is on the cover of GQ um what else is there Austin Trustees uh announcement video there it is with Sheffield 
United. What else is there? Oh, Mikel, uh, Mikel Arteta's team and Arsenal at Arsenal are speaking with, uh, sorry, uh, Nicolas Pepe's team are speaking with Arsenal to terminate his contract as he does have uh, Besiktas as his priority at this moment in time. So Pepe will be leaving the club also. That is another uh, big, big step in the right direction. We've already known about Matt Turner. I already spoke about Matt Turner. Um, is there anything else? The GQ, you guys should check this out. This this GQ article on Mikel Arteta, you should check it out. It's on British GQ, at British GQ. Uh, check it out on, on Twitter. Of course, Zinchenko also spoke to uh, Rio about his role and how his role is integral in the team. I think you guys should check this out also to uh, uh, on on five where he speaks uh, where he speaks with them. Very good there. And also Ramsdale had a uh, had an interview on, on the Player Tribune uh, where he spoke about his uh, himself and just a little bit about himself. And it's titled "Oh, Shut Up, Ramsdale." <laughs> kind of funny. Um, some of the some of the quotes from Ramsdale's um, thing is: "We were on holiday after the World Cup on on the flight home. My wife had a miscarriage. Oh, that's so hard." You see some of these things you don't know about, man. I feel sorry for the guy. And then um, Mikel Arteta was fantastic. Every time for me, that's a manager. Yeah, man, Mikel Arteta. Uh, Mikel Arteta has a special bond with Ramsdale, man. And yeah, man, I never knew Ramsdale had a uh, family had a miscarriage. That's that's that hurt. That's hard. That that hurts, man. Hurts big time. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. That's pretty much it. Uh, nothing else to really cover today. Kind of covered everything that uh, kind of covered everything that needed to be covered. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Um, spoke about Balogun. Oh, injuries. Uh, that's that's the final thing that we need to talk about. Injuries. Um, so injured players. We're, Arsenal have Jesus currently injured. We know we know what's going on with the injuries with um, Zinchenko and Declan Rice. Declan Rice and Zinchenko are going to be back very soon. Hopefully, um, as Zinchenko. His wife also just gave birth, so he was given a little bit of time off for that also. Um, when it comes to the rest of the team, I think the rest of the team is okay. Uh, latest updates on the nine players that will miss uh, the game versus Man City. Let's let's get into it. So the first player, we already know about Jesus' injury, so there's no, there's no stress there, right? Then you go to um, Matt Turner. Matt Turner will most likely be still getting a transfer, so he's not going to be available potentially. You have a situation where Emil Smith Rowe is going to be back, no question about that. Uh, Balogun is probably going to be out, as as we don't want to get him injured uh, before before any transfer or anything else. I don't think he's going to be utilized. I think we are probably going to look to sell him. So that is another player who's going to po potentially be out the door uh, out the door very soon. Runnerson is not going to be utilized. Pepe is not going to be utilized. Um, I don't know if I don't know if. Some of the fringe players are going to be in, even in the squad as as they potentially will be uh, sold or, or 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 get. So at this moment in time, you got Lukonga recovering from injury. Pepe is going to be sold. Cedric's going to be sold. Chavar is going to be sold. Reese Nelson still coming back from injury. Marquinhos is going to be loaned out. Balogun is going to be sold. Um, Emil Smith Rowe. I don't know if he's injured or if he's going to be part. Uh, hopefully, he's going to be part of the team. No problem about with him. And then the rest of the guys, that's it. Everybody else should be available. Bakayo Saka was just a precautionary reason why he didn't play the previous game. But yeah, that's it for today. That's that's everything that we need to cover. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the stream. Make sure you do hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let me know, would you guys let Partey leave to this late in the window? I don't think so. I don't think the Romeo Lavia deal is going to happen. The Raya deal is going to probably happen. I'm excited for that one. Uh, would you take Romelu Lukaku at Arsenal? Personally, I would have nothing to do with Romelu Lukaku. And yeah, that's it for now. You guys have yourselves a wonderful, wonderful day. Here right. we go. Also, if you haven't hit the like button yet, please do that right now.